Welcome everybody to another bold cast reaction. I'm Carson. I'm Lindsay. And this is Tower of God episode 8, right? Episode 8, Coon's Strategy. Last episode, we started Tag, which is basically, we thought we were confused because they called it Tag. Apparently you guys told us that it's it was hide and seek in the manhwa, but for some reason they called it Tag in either the Japanese translation or the English translation translation or something. Along the way it got lost what the actual game was and the way you explained it to me apparently it's one team is against quant and the other team is coming is coming after yeah i think the teams go separately they're not competing against each other at the same time and they either have to get their it person to the end or take quant's tag right yeah as far as i as understand far as it, we're aware the they for some reason they they didn't spend a whole lot of uh effort explaining tag that. kind of works but only like hide and seek tag like that game in hide and itself seek. yeah i suppose hide and seek tag would work if everyone was hiding and not just one person yeah but uh who knows like wh whatever we don't know we don't know what the translations are here anyway they're playing that, and Coon and Bomb are on separate teams. Bomb and Rachel are on a team together, which is the next team. And Coon is uh, playing some high-level 5-head 40 chess underwater right now. And I bet he's going to pull something out of his ass to fuck with uh, Quant, because there's some to Coon that isn't quite your average contestant in this whole thing. He has he has some insider knowledge, uh, I've come to believe. But we're gonna see how that all comes together this episode. Hopefully this whole tag game, at least this first one and possibly the start of the second game, wraps up uh, in this. But I know this is probably gonna take more than one episode, but we'll see. Uh, hopefully it just all wraps up in one. That'd be pretty dope. But we're gonna get right into this Reaction to Tower of God, episode 8. Hope you guys like this video. Hope you check out our previous Tower of God videos. Or you guys seem to have been liking our tower of gods recently which is great to see but yeah so we hope you enjoy we're gonna get right into this tower of god episode eight let's go all right one second yeah i don't know what to make of that oh shit oh she really pulled that one off fuck i didn't even think of that damn kicking that guy's ass on your team wow dude that was episode eight i keep going in front of the mic um what do you think of that episode i don't know what do you mean just the I'm, I'm still just thinking about her plan. Do you want to, like, go through it a little bit more? I don't know. It's It seems like they're setting it up for a reveal, so I, I, I'm not expecting us to maybe be able to do that. Then it is decided. I'll start by putting on the it badge. Is she stupid? Woman's strategy to have the fishermen scatter. They run towards the elevator. After seeing what their it does may serve as a distraction got a wave controller on her side yeah she's I, they're setting us up for a reveal but there's no way after she, all she did like if she did some crazy shit if she was like i don't know if like quant got like kicked off the side or something like that or like a pendulum came and knocked him away or something then it'd be like whoa what did she do but it's just like <laughs> we'll stop him here beats the shit out of your own teammates Maybe. we got him <laughs> okay uh, i don't know i'm not even gonna try honestly i'm not even gonna try she's uh, I mean, okay. Maybe she's just knocking out people she doesn't want I to pass. I think so. I think that's it. I think because there's a chance maybe that they could pass even if they don't win, right? Like, with the last team. So maybe she has a chance because she's kind of exceptional. That she could pass if nobody else wins and she's trying to pull some shit like that. Like mm -hmm. the last team did. But... I don't know. Like, I, I don't, I just don't, I have no idea what she could be planning. Because we didn't see anything actually happen. We just saw her friendly fire betrayal... <laughs> <laughs> like but also their teammate. team is full of idiots yeah like those guys who are like oh we're gonna go after the ranker like are you did you literally learn nothing you got to watch the other team play and yeah. you saw exactly how that worked out for you actually really like literally so stupid <laughs> like just bad they're just really stupid i don't know i can't i can't speak i it's hard to speak about what what crazy plan she has and how she's gonna pull that one off what was crazy was, uh, fucking, I forget her name, the chick that I always say I like, uh, her backstory of she was a cat bird. Yeah, what the fuck? And then that, this ranker guy who for some reason was on the ship, I don't know, maybe rankers have, like, a place in everyday life where they're just, like, super powerful, like, leadership or something. I think ranker literally just means that you've climbed to the tower, I know, but right? I'm saying, like, after that, you're obviously, like, overpowered compared to the rest of the population. So maybe you go into, like, you're kind of like the police I don't think so. They but don't... It, uh, he just mur Unless he owned the ship or it was his ship 
Or else why would you literally just murder, a, like, slice people in half? I mean, they were thieves. I guess, but... I mean, I guess it if we don't know the... It seems to me he the... was hired as security. Or they well, were hired as security. Well, that's what I was kind of saying, like, not But not, that's not poli- a police. Like, not you said police. police you, you're, you're, like... The way you're saying is they're taking, like... A, a law enforcement that didn't look oh. like law enforcement to me <laughs> <laughs> no i meant kind of like uh they do... i think they can do whatever they want yeah. i don't think that they have to do anything i don't okay. think that there's like climbing the climb the tower and now you're a part of our government you, you achieved all your goals and now you do have to do what i do what i say i guess not but i mean like i'm saying like maybe in this society rankers have like normal kind of jobs but stuff that only like they can do if that kind of makes sense i feel like other people could do that yeah but they couldn't like literally slice people in half without even going near them normal people yeah yeah i don't uh, whatever like i I think it does i I don't i don't i'm not gonna read too much into that they seem to just have a job they seem to just be normal people (laughs) like i i don't think that there there's seems to be this weird separation between rankers and other people. I don't think that there is one. Especially after seeing Quant, it's just kind of like, climb the tower, big fucking deal. So if like all these other people, it's just sort of something that you have done. And then what you gain from that is up to you. And then you can move on with your life. Yeah, I don't know. I don't I don't think that there's like a magical thing. I mean, obviously there is climbing the tower, but um, I don't think it's so complicated as what, you, what we're thinking. Okay. But yeah, she just like, all those people got sliced to pieces. This does seem very Survivor. We just finished watching the most recent season of survivor crazy by the way if you if anyone out there watches survivor i'd never seen seen it before but now i'm like thinking about it in a new way and like th- it's the way that um coon was like they talked about that like coon's playing for his alliance he's not playing for this bullshit team that they forced them into he's thinking about the greater game the greater picture uh which is really smart so that was his plan his plan wasn't to win that at all it was to th- make it seem like he won or he was trying to win it for them but lost nobly and then so if this team doesn't win he's still in a good spot to mm-hmm. climb the tower because everyone thinks oh he didn't betray us he wasn't playing some kind of like expert level fucking game he's still on our team so we can mm-hmm. trust him um but if the if his team loses and the team b wins then just it's just as good for him he set himself perfectly to be the good guy in both situations. It just depends on whether Bomb and all, all of their team can can pull it through. Yeah. I and think I mean, they with that can. crazy maneuver that yeah, Dorsey's crazy. pulling off, beating the shit out of her teammates for no reason. <laughs> <laughs> we don't actually think that. There's some other shit. Obviously, she's doing some other shit. Uh, but we can't, we literally can't speculate on it because all she did was, all, all she said was, my plan's really coming together and kicked her fucking teammate. And then we're just supposed to be like, holy fuck, she's so strong. Anyway. I'm glad that that, like, went as fast as we kind of wanted it to. Yeah, 100%. I literally said that that we were going to get to there at Mm -hmm. the start of the episode. Good episode. Not much character stuff to talk about. No. uh, But that's fine. I'm fine with it. The fights were all right. Again, the show seems to be... I mean, I don't know, but, like, it seemed... When when Quant punched that uh, dragon-winged dude... Uh, and he and there was like a giant wind explosion that came out the other side, act like it was some shit out of Dragon Ball Z. I was like, okay, like it just it just seems another one of those things where they're playing up these like strong but not bombastic and explosive attacks to be like super crazy. Mm-hmm. Uh, it's that's what I got from that is they seem to be playing that same game which whatever it wasn't that big of a deal this time but i just noticed that like they turned a punch to like the kidney into a giant wind blast that like came out the other side uh but it's fine whatever did we ever get told why like rock and that other guy like passed passed? was it just because they were like so good i think so okay i think i think that's it they just had their thing uh rock went to train to like get like he went off on his own and Mm -hmm. then came back and won his thing i think that maybe they yeah i don't know maybe there's a disproportionate number of spear bearers or something Mm -hmm. and since they did exceptionally well in a category where there's a lot of people or just because they did exceptionally well i believe that too um it's just kind of interesting because they're talking about like all the rankers and like pretty much everyone is just like oh they're gonna pass regardless of how they do in this test, you know? Yeah. Like, they're talking about that, but, like, for quite a few people. Yeah. So. I, that's a good point. I'm, so, like, at first it made sense. I was like, 
oh, okay, they just did really good, so they're already putting them through. Yeah. But then I was like, Why if all of these thing? people were at that level or pretty close that they were going to pass regardless. Then why hold the test at all? Yeah, why not just make one giant team or just do a different game and basically... Or just on- get rid of all the people that are bullshit. Because it, <laughs> it seems... You're right, though. There is a significant enough amount of people, it seems, that they're just going to pass regardless. That, like, why would you include them? Like, half of Team A <laughs> yeah. and then, like, a like... Four people at least from Team A, right? There's Anak, or I don't know if Anak's a part of that. I think she is. I think Anak, Kun, Shibisu, uh, Loro, is that it? And yeah, that might be it. But like, that's that's quite a few people. And then like maybe in Dorsey yeah, from the she other would team, probably pass. Yeah, I don't probably know. Probably not bomb. Probably not bomb. But like, he like maybe they could take the people who are like at like bombs level, like not good enough to just automatically pass. But like not as shit as, like, some of the other people who are there, mm-hmm. and, like, have them do something to, mm-hmm. like, see who's the best, but... It... it does... You're right, though. It does, once again, seem like an ill-fitted test for what they're trying to accomplish yeah. as far as, like, the administration. But, we... With what we saw with the last time, we were so confused about that conversation between um, the two rankers. Um, Sung... Coffee guy. Yeah, coffee instant boy. coffee boy. <laughs> I forgot his name already. Uh, Sung something. Um, and Lero Ro. There's there's seems to be like some political game to why they're choosing these weird games mm-hmm. and why they pulled Quant into this one. Um, because he fucked up before. So I think that this is more about what's going to happen to Quant than what's going to happen with all of our people. Because it seems like there's some greater shit happening here. Uh, as far as the administration. Uh, if, if we learn anything from the last one, because yeah, it doesn't make that it, you're right. It doesn't make any sense for them to hold this type of game for what they're trying to accomplish. They're trying to like weed people out or basically cut it in half. But then most like a decent amount of the people, like at least probably like 10 people total, including rock and that other guy are just going to pass regardless. So why even put them in the yeah, game? And, and if there's like 20 people on a team. There, it, or even less. It just ends up being like, why? Like, it, it ends up being exactly what happened, where uh, a, the team a pur- who loses passes anyway. Yeah, the proportion. There's a proportion of people who are doing well who run the show and then get everyone else in their team kicked out because they don't need to try and and they're playing a greater game, so they aren't actually even playing the game that they're playing. And unless it, just, it unless it was literally to test that yeah like loyalty because coffee guy. I'm so sorry, we're terrible at remembering his name but like coffee guy had that list with him and i think that asking them to make those lists as part of their training yuhan sung is his name okay him asking them to make those lists or whoever who asked them to make those lists wasn't by accident they made those lists i think so they could test where people's like if people would blindly go along with this shitty game that made no sense (laughs) Or if people would be loyal to their true team. Yeah. I'm thinking maybe it's something along the lines of that. Yeah. That would make sense. Mm-hmm. Um, because if it's not, then... It's just weird. Th- then there's something else weird going on. It's just like with the crown game. It's like, what are you actually trying to accomplish with this? There's like... the, the Yeah, I've already said it. But like the rules that they've set up and the format of these games do not... <laughs> they do not do what they are... What they purport to be doing. Like they say they want to, you know, weed people out for this reason when really the game does the exact opposite or something completely different and has nothing to do with what they said that they were doing. So it seems like a, a choice on their part rather than just weird writing. Uh, and I think it does have something to do with Quant. I think that they know that Quant fucked up and they either want to use him for some sort of political purpose or like get, get like, uh, Yuhan Sung wants to get him under his thumb for some sort of political purpose even more or uh just completely get rid of him or something um and laro ro is getting caught up in the mix at this point yeah laro ro is really confused and he's really stressed out you can tell yeah he's he's like why am i here why are we any of us here why are we why are we doing this it's getting a bit complicated for him yeah 
and I don't know. We'll see how that turns out, I guess, in the future. There's not enough information at this point to figure that out, but I do think Yohan Sung's playing a game that he wants... I think he wants to get Liroro under his thumb in a weird way. I don't know who Yohan Sung is working for, if anybody, or if he's climbing the like climbing his own tower, and and I don't know. I don't know what his plans are, but he has some shit going on, and we're ready to see what that's about, but... What I also wanted to talk about was, um, I forget her name. The girl I like, this girl. Her whole thing about, like, or do you have, do you think you have the, the will or the, the, str the strength to kill people that you know? Because I don't think I do. And then Ho's just like, I will yeah. murder you right now. I mean, what are you talking about? That was kind of the whole point of this. I came in, like, did you not come into this with the intent to kill anyone you met? Because I certainly did. <laughs> and then she's just like, oh, I... I guess I just never thought of you that way. Good to know. But she's sort of losing her will to fight. Because mm -hmm. she doesn't want... She just... She lost all her friends. And now she got some new friends. And now she's gonna have to be faced with the decision of possibly killing some of them. In order to advance her goal. I, I found that interesting. <laughs> but Ho, once again, proves to be a Ho. So... Why? <laughs> Don't ask, alright? Because, um, yeah, I, I like I said during the episode, but he has, like... I think he decided long ago that he was going to do whatever it took to, like, after seeing what he saw, he's going to take, do whatever it takes to, to achieve his goals. He doesn't, he isn't going to give a fuck about anybody else. Alrighty. Hope you guys enjoyed this reaction to Tower of God episode eight. Uh, and hope you enjoyed the discussion. Not much this episode. Decent episode. Not bad. I felt like it was easier to follow than a lot of the other ones we've seen yeah. for the, from the show for sure, which is refreshing. However, they did try and like, leave us behind at the end like try and kick us back into the box yeah like... just like oh what's gonna happen next but it's like something literally what is <laughs> so, going yeah to happen what's next? gonna happen next i have no idea and we're gonna find out next week stay tuned for the next episode of tower of god we just just for all you people little update for people who've been waiting for our next series that we're gonna be posting we just recorded re-zero not sure when that's gonna be posted it probably won't be for another couple weeks maybe it's hard to say we don't know when we're gonna start posting it we're going to start posting ReZero soon, season one. Uh, more info on that to come, but that's coming soon to prepare for next season. Check out our Naruto reactions if you're into Shonen. We got those. We just posted the Sasuke vs. Orochimaru fight, so that's on our channel right now. That video is doing great. Thank you guys for the support on that. We got Kaguya. We got a whole bunch of stuff you guys will probably like, so we hope you check out the rest of our channel. Uh, I'm Carson. We have a oh. JoJo opening reaction on Friday. Right. Yeah, stay tuned for that. Jopening. Jopening. <laughs> <laughs> Jojo OP reaction. We react to all openings from Jojo except for the last variant on the last one, but everything including that. And there's a special surprise that you might enjoy about that, about that video. Stay tuned for that on Friday. Uh, I'm Carson. I'm Lindsay. See you in the next one. Bye-bye.